Welcome to the LaughSpin.com podcast. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan Godino from LaughSpin.com and welcome to another episode of the LaughSpin podcast. Each week on the LaughSpin podcast, myself and co-host Mike deliver you about 30 to 35 minutes of the latest comedy news. And every once in a while, in lieu of comedy news, we do special episodes wherein we interview comedians. And that's what we're doing this week. This week's guest is Amy Schumer, who I talked to in her apartment. In her apartment. She let me in her apartment. How nice is that? That's very nice. We had a really great chat. Uh, we talked about, obviously, her, her career in comedy. Uh, we got a little personal. We talked about her love life. And, uh, of course, we talked about her new show, Inside Amy Schumer, which starts on Comedy Central on April 30th, which you must tune into. I watched the first two episodes, and uh, it's really, really funny. I won't tell you too much about it here, because we get, we, we get into that in, in the interview. So um, that's all I want to say about this. So uh, uh, big thanks to Amy Schumer for sitting down with me and talking. And uh, big thanks to you guys for tuning into the Laugh Spin podcast. So here it is, my interview with Amy Schumer. Check it out. Do you mind if I do the interview not looking at you at no, all? No, I ever? prefer it. Wow. I prefer it. I'm sick of hearing um, hearing my own voice lately and seeing my own image. It's just like <laughs> of all the press for the show, I'm like, ah, shut up. We get it, Amy. Well, you're gonna you're gonna have to get used to it, and uh, it's it's a good thing. So, and, and congratulations! Con- Thank you. Congrats on everything. We are. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting here with Amy Schumer, um, on her. What would you call this? A couch? I is would call it a couch. What do you think? Is this? <laughs> yes. It really is very loungy. It is a couch. I, 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 it qualifies. Yeah, I think it's a couch. It's like a huge Shea lounge. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, we are in Amy's apartment. Uh, we are looking. Uh, we're, oh, I'm overlooking. What, I'm what park looking is this? I'm looking at you. Yeah. This is Madison Square Park. Well, I mean, that's a little bit of it. But really, I guess we're just looking um, east. Yeah, this is this is nice. South. And this is, uh, you told me before we hit record, this is your first quote unquote nice. This is your pr- first nice place. Totally. Yeah, it, this is my first nice decorated apartment. I've uh, I've only lived... That's very wishful. Like I, I'm, but I, you know, you, you want to hope that you're going to keep living, living well or living how you're living <laughs> when people get alimony. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've liked my apartments before, but they've all been like kind of shitholes. Right. Yeah. Well, this you you deserve this, Amy Schumer. Oh man, thank you. You really do. You yeah. really do. So uh, part of the reason we're, we're I'm talking to you uh, is you have you have a little television show. Tiny little TV project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, it's my TV show, Inside yeah. Amy Schumer. It so it's April 30th. April 30th. Uh, I watched the first two, well, the, the two episodes Comedy Central gave out. Yeah, those are the out. first two. Will they, I don't, will they be the first two uh-huh. or sometimes yeah. they... No, those are them. So I enjoyed it. I, I, instead of me explaining to our listeners uh, how the, the show format. is is kind of uh, structured, how how would you describe it? Um, it's... it's uh, sketches mm-hmm. you know scripted scenes um stand up me doing man on the street kind of like those real sex interviews and <laughs> and i interview somebody every episode just like a somebody who, who i've never gotten to speak to before like a, a dominatrix mm-hmm. or a really well endowed guy or just a guy who loves jesus just R- right you know just like talking to people that i i haven't had conversations with before yeah I like that. Uh, I like that segment. What, what is it? Real deep? Is that what it's called? Deep? Oh, God. I mean, we just chose the name, so I don't even remember. <laughs> it wasn't like we were like, oh, we should something. And then we thought we thought like deep. That's funny. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. It's like Amy goes deep, maybe. Yeah. Or I, I think that sounds <laughs> like it was a very last second, like <laughs> careless. <laughs> that sounds about right. I should like. No, that's OK. But... That's OK. No, no, no. That's it's totally cool. Not knowing my the format of my TV <laughs> well, show. Yeah. I have yeah. a show. You know, I, I, I am proud of this shit. I just totally like, we just thought of the name and the graphics of that part. Yeah. Yeah. But I like it. I like it. You talked to the, the, in the two episodes I saw, you talked to the, the stripper. A stripper and a model. 
and the model yeah right yeah what'd you think what'd you what were you left with of from the uh I mean, I liked Either. it. I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go longer. Oh, but good. I, but I think I, they'll put obvious. the longer ones online. We yes. got into it. Oh, good. It got dark, but they want to use the funniest stuff. for Sure, TV, I guess. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but I mean, the 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 idea of interviewing a stripper or or a model. Yeah. I mean, to me, is so interesting because you. I mean, Thank when you. do you, when do you get a chance to? Yeah, it just like it it made sense. I was like, I don't want to interview celebrities, um, but the. Uh, and just ask them the questions that I have, which I assume other people have. The most interesting part of the stripper one for me was the question dawned on me. I realized like, you know, because manipulation is such a huge part of it. Sure. So I was like, how many guys think that you're their girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that part? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That really was heavy. She, I mean, I don't remember. I think she said like 20 yeah, or something. She, yeah. And she was like, I'm not even like success like that's successful it's right she said there are girls with a lot of guys out there who are like i have a girlfriend she strips really yeah it was just cr- and the model yeah just questions just like what's it like <laughs> like are you hungry <laughs> you know it was fun and it was sort of um it was the element of the show that was making everybody the most nervous why is that because it just wasn't um it wasn't that clear to them I think I had a clear idea of what I wanted it to be. Mm. And uh, so it was like, we kind of, that's the last thing we shot was those interviews. So, you know, everybody, it was such hard, everybody worked so hard to get the scenes done. And I was working so hard to get the stand up done. And we shot all the men on the street and it was like, oh God, right. We have to do those interviews. But they're, they're like one of my favorite parts of the the show. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are a lot of components, uh, to the show but I think uh, you know I, I think everything comes together yeah really well and 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 I like the fact that you that in, in 22 minutes or however long it, you know it runs with yeah. commercials uh, I like that it, it, the time goes so quick oh good uh because it's like you said it's stand-up and then that is in you know that segues into a sketch and right then you're you're always uh, you're never trapped anywhere too long no and we get a good sense of you know who you are and uh it's a personal it's, show yeah 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 so totally. thank you that's really nice to hear any others definitely you know it's on comedy central so it's it, it is short attention span theater but i come from a theater background so yeah. i did want to have real moments lived out and see them and like kind of stay in whatever world we we created like we you know in the first episode we have that kind of parody of i survived yeah. and <laughs> yeah. that scene like if you're not into it like you know you're well you're gonna be here a while yeah yeah it's a <laughs> it, it was a longer it was a longer sketch but did I you mean, do you watch i survived ever uh no no but but you're aware of i it, mean so. yeah i mean in a few seconds you kind of you get, get what's that, going on. that this thing really does exist <laughs> yeah and, it's about I, I'm obsessed things. with that show, so it was really satisfying to get to do that. Yeah, it was <laughs> Michael Showalter. <laughs> yeah. Just like it was just fun. It was fun, and that was the last thing that I filmed uh, for at all scripted stuff. So that yeah. was kind of like a I had to kind of be like upset, and it was I was really it wasn't hard to do that day. Aww. <laughs> so every all, everything shot now. It's it's everything shot, so that's and it. you know what? I don't know if. If uh, you know this, but tomorrow we're releasing, there's a, a web aspect of it, which is behind the scenes. Right, they, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know about that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Um, but I think you'll dig it especially because it just, you know, just getting to see more of the process of behind the scenes. And it's not like a a, a tool to make me look awesome. It was just like showing the writer's room and right. me on the road and stuff. Like getting into it with hecklers and like, you know, yeah, no yeah, makeup that'll be, and um, um, I'll look forward to that. Thanks. Um, so, so that's great. So you, you have the show, you're on, you're, you're on the road. Yeah. Um, that seems to be part of the deal with, with, I mean, which is a good thing. Right. Comedy Central seems to do, uh, I mean, I come from a, a semi naive standpoint. I'm not a performer. I'm not a comedian, right. but it seems like Comedy Central does a really good job of, uh, developing talent they would be uh, so happy to hear you say that oh really yeah right well i mean it, it, it's sort of like we're not just going to give this person a show we're going to um you it's know a relationship we're going to put her on the roast yeah see what happens well you date for a while people like her let's you know film a pilot and then the show the show happens and then immediately it sounds like simultaneously while the show is being developed they're thinking about 
putting getting you on tour yeah they um i was you know i've already been on the road for a while um but but then it was like live nation and my people i mean there's a lot of people that make money from me going on the road so yeah. it's like um they were like and you'll go out and do this tour and promote the show and right. i was like yeah great uh and then it's like it's a lot of work because j- just to be on the road mm. or just be making a television show but it's like just a bunch of stuff um but comedy central I feel like, yeah, it does feel like uh, you get to a certain point in a relationship with the network like you would with a dude where it's like, are we like, are you going to put a ring on it? And this show right. is them being like, <laughs> I want to I'm committing to you. Uh, but they were just cool. They were smart with me. They I, I, the first time I was on there was, I think, 2007. Mm-hmm. And they just had the door open. They just they're very smart. And they had they given me a TV show three years ago it would have been a pile of dog shit. So, <laughs> but I'm really psyched with what we, I, I felt like I had this show in me. And so it wasn't like, Oh God, what am I going to do? What are they buying right now? Right. It right, was right. like, this is the show that I want to make. So, and now what you're playing, you're playing nice places on the road. You're, you're doing uh, theaters. Right. That's uh, new also. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> what's, what has, uh, what is what is the what is the reaction been and and what's what's the difference i guess it's just such timing after um cuz i was doing okay on the road yeah. i was making okay living and uh some people would say a great living you know like it was going good and then but then after my special aired um it was just like through the roof times times 10 what what it had been and mm-hmm. with drawing and with excitement and with people kind of like experiencing me different just what you know because there was a time where it was like Seinfeld would get up and people would be like he was funny what was that guy's name and then boom (laughs) it's just this and I'm not trying to compare myself to Seinfeld but there is a different sort of like people hold you on a different level or put you on a pedestal if they see if they've seen you in a certain light and so now with doing these shows at theaters First of all, it's funny because I'm doing some of the theaters I did on the last Comic Standing tour Uh (laughs) where it's like, you know, I had that, I don't know, five year stint in the middle where I was in clubs and like didn't even think I'd ever get back to doing theaters. And so now it's just it's just better. It's one show and it's all it's even more people than would have seen you over the course of the weekend. And and you're just you're treated well and people aren't ordering drinks they're just like sitting in there they bought the tickets and they're sitting in their seats and they're excited to see you yeah i mean and uh, and this is something i i hear from you know comedians who mm-hmm. kind of get to that next level now it's they're not it's not that they're going to a comedy club to you know get some laughs yeah they're there to see you they bought the tickets on purpose right. and i remember when I, I pulled in like it was like the first weekend of the tour and it was in Indianapolis and we just like pulled in the parking lot of the theater and I saw my name on the marquee and it really hit me like the people that I think of as touring theaters are just these huge acts and I I couldn't believe that my name was up there and that I was on doing theaters like that for me with you know being a fan of comedy uh it, and it put a lot of pressure on me. And that first weekend, I was like, oh, my God, am I am I deserving of this? Am I giving them a show that I that's worthy of being in this beautiful theater? And um, and but then that first weekend, I was just like Indy, Cincinnati, Minneapolis. And by Minneapolis, I was like, yeah, I, it's they're excited and I'm giving them a great show. And I, and I just told myself because I was kind of burnt out on being on the road. And I told myself you're doing theaters this is like this is the best and you don't know how long you're gonna you're gonna be able to do this so just give everything every show and i've I've really been doing that i feel like it's good yeah you know i think people sometimes don't believe that you know the the feelings you and the emotions you just described i feel like a lot of people on the outside don't believe that somebody in your position, you know, they see you, they see you on television. They're like, well, obviously she's, she's confident. She knows what she's doing. She's, you know, having a great time. But I, I, I believe you when you say, you know, that those feelings of uncertainty are, are real. Like when yeah. you, when you get to the theater, like a- everything's relative. Uh, you know, just because you're, you're, you're playing theaters doesn't mean 
you believe 100 percent there's there's no reason you shouldn't be playing these theaters exactly i'm not like well if i got the opportunity i deserve it i've gotten opportunities right. <laughs> before that i wasn't ready for and mm -hmm. so um and i thought and i thought maybe this is one of those things and maybe it's the kind of thing where maybe halfway through the tour i'm feeling more but it was early on i mean i have been <laughs> I, I forget you forget so quickly um like oh i've been doing this for so long i've been doing this every night for so long and uh and yeah, so maybe somebody just sees that special and the comedians I saw, I would see what, I remember I saw Laura Keitlinger, mm -hmm. uh, her half hour special. And yeah. I was just like, oh, well, she lives in a mansion and she's like <laughs> right. the most famous female comic, uh, you know. Right. And, uh, and then now that I have more of a perspective, I still think she's like the funniest person yeah, ever. Yeah, she's great. Um, but it's just not like that. And, and I know from personal experience, all comedians struggle with, with confidence. And, but, but now I, I'm, I don't know. 10 weeks into the tour and it's been one it's been like three or four nights a week every week in these big places in different cities and and I know people are having a great time and I'm looking out and they're laughing till they're crying and um and I I feel worthy of their time and attention um but still on t I'll see like they'll be like can you tweet this you know your show in Miami and uh who's and that just like the venue oh, or okay. my management right and it'll be like you know like Thirty-two fifty for a seat, and I'm like, damn, that's so much money. You know, <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's really expensive. Or if you're in Vegas, all the tickets are way expensive. So that makes me like really want to give them a good time because yeah. <laughs> that's like it's a lot of money. And uh, yeah, but um, but I was feeling really burnt out, and and I had like a moment of like, oh, I don't even know if I want to keep doing stand up you know really it, yeah but it came and went i was totally like um <laughs> i mean i really was like you know what if i don't want to do it anymore i don't have to and then i and then i thought of like one new joke and i was like oh my god i can't wait to get on stage <laughs> and try this uh yeah but i just you know at festivals and stuff you would hear the, the names of the comics who were in the theaters and i was in like the the little shitty venue right uh not that long ago and um and like just now i was in times square and a guy barking Link was like, you want to see the comedy? And then he was like, oh my God, shit. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I was like, hey. And because uh, I barked. Sure. And ran around and it wasn't that long ago. So it's like, yeah, I'm trying to really make myself feel this time and appreciate it. You yeah. Know? So what did, uh, so did that guy still, uh, did he, are you, so are you, gonna, are you going to see live comedy tonight or what? I am. I got tickets. Um, <laughs> it was really funny. Actually, the guy goes, he goes, oh shit it's you he goes you look better in person are you really with jessel nick uh, and i go i'm like no i'm i'm single and he's like oh well i'm single too and like this just <laughs> it was so funny like he went from trying to get me to see a show to like he was like can we, can we please go out it was really it was really cute so do you have a day tonight we're going out no i was like um uh it was it was really funny i was just like what a quick progression his i got to see his mind go through all those things right yeah I, I admire that. I uh, admire uh, that. Yeah, he was a go-getter. I bet you he'll be like the next earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> he, he also looked like earthquake. <laughs> if there could ever be a next earthquake. So uh, he looked like earthquake. So yeah, you're not into giant black guys. Um, I don't know. I don't think me and this guy had a future. <laughs> I was just like, uh, are you at the end of the aisle? I don't see it. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. marriage! Don't do it. Aren't you married and you have I, kids? I am married and I have two children. Gosh, you are an adult. I am an adult. That's so nice. I am an adult. You have like the grass is always greener, Amy. Uh, yeah, I know. And I walked. In, I walked in here and I'm like, <laughs> oh my nice. god. Right. But I'm like, ooh, unconditional love sounds pretty good too. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Uh, it it has its uh. It has its perks. Yeah. You know? I think the grass must always be greener. It, it really is. Uh, and the only people that really yeah, benefit. Who's happy? Who's like really you, happy? Do you want to know who's happy, Amy yeah. Schumer? Uh, people in open relationships. Totally. People who are in agreement that they are both in an open relationship. That's that's. I'm who. of that school. I'm of that school thought. And I don't know if that'll change, but I think that's the most realistic, healthy, non-manipulative way to do it it is it's when you think about it i i'm married and i have kids yeah and i i like being married and i and i like having kids 
And also I could admit that both of those concepts are completely retarded. Yeah. I, I mean, I feel the exact same way. I'm just like, I, I'm right now just thinking a lot about, and I know people who are totally in love and they get married. My sister, it, it's like married her soulmate mm-hmm. and my brother did too. Uh, and there's that like, we want to start a family and they, they only advise for each other. I mm-hmm. mean, but that that I don't I, that I don't I don't understand that concept. I at, know that seems all. like it'd be good. It just I've never. It just always seems like if you if you love the person, and you guys are cool and you're not threatened by other people and like kind of stepping in there, mm-hmm. then if you know if if you meet someone and you want to have like fun with them once you want to hook up twice or something. And you then like, why not? And then the person won't resent you. And when you when you want to hook up with someone and you don't, then you build up how great it would have been in your head. Right. When if you had just done it, you would see like I've hooked up with people and been like, oh, I'm glad I did that because now I know I don't want to do that with him again. <laughs> right. you know. And so it's out of your mind. You're not like building it up and projecting. Right. That's right. You're not projecting. You're not and you don't start resenting. Uh, yeah. yeah, because it is it's somewhat about control. For for me, it would be anyway. Sure. Should I close that because they're like mowing something, or That's or okay. it won't pick it up? I you? don't know. It okay. it might. All right. If if you're listening to this, just just <laughs> keep in mind this is real life. This is life. We guys. are we're sitting in Amy's apartment in New York City. Yeah. And the windows open and, and it's a gorgeous day. So if you hear some background no- we're noise, we're sorry. That's that's just the deal. Just deal, please, you guys. That's just the deal. We're forgiving of your flaws. <laughs> We're going to let you cheat on us. <laughs> like, you, could cheat on, you could cheat on us with other podcasts. Yeah. The, the 300,000 other ones that exist where comedians interview comedians. Yeah. Just uh, they, That's so funny. Do you ever see Stand Up Apartment? You know that web series? It's no. Kenny Zimling House and Greg Johnson. No. Oh my God, you would love it. It's so funny. Everyone watch Stand Up Apartment. It's just them and they're living, like it's a fake, it's a web series. It's yeah. like two of them living together and they just say quotes that like early kind of comic early in their career would say and they'd be like did you see kumail on ferguson last night he killed i heard he ate it he killed it's just so funny did you get a call back from montreal nah you no <laughs> it's just so like, it's a very it's an inside it's, baseball it's type so of, inside baseball but i awesome. feel like you know your yeah. your listeners are probably pretty inside baseball that's I'll, I'll, i'm gonna check that out <laughs> it's really funny Oh my God! He's so, like this girl in the front row. I mean, talk about understanding the silences. <laughs> <laughs> that, and then wait, one more thing, and I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. That, that's, but they go, um, uh, oh, they'll be like, "How was your show tonight?" And he goes, "They were weird." <laughs> <laughs> like it's the crowd's fault. Right, right. Bob. The typical. Oh yeah. How was the crowd? They were weird. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. That is. I'll, I'll check it out. I, I, uh. I will do that. Um, so, uh, okay. So you're single, single, um, single. Woo! How Just old kidding. are you now? It's like sad when girls are single. It's like, oh uh, yeah. You go like, oh, she's single. How old is she? Ooh, I'm 31. Okay. Yeah. I said, okay. As if that, that's an well, acceptable age. I mean, and I, know, I totally didn't mean it. Women age like shit and it's like, it gets to a, but, but I just don't, <sighs> but it's the same thing we were talking about. Am I supposed to try to lock down a guy that I don't even really like right now before my physical stock plummets? Like, I just don't want to do that. And I'm happy yeah, with and things. You, and you shouldn't. And, and you absolutely shouldn't. I mean, I know, uh, you know, a handful of girls that are my, I mean, I'm 35. Uh-huh. So uh, my friends are generally my age or, or older uh, and they're not, they're not married, but they're, they're always conflicted. They're, they're conflicted. It's like, well, yeah, cause society I, I don't, and right. It, and, and I feel bad, uh, about that. And yeah. it just sort of, for me, it just sort of happened. I mean, I was never gung ho on getting married. I mean, I like it. Um, it seems like that's how it's gotta happen for it to not be this like contract where you're just locking someone down. Right. But also, I might feel completely different than that a year from now. But that's just how I'm thinking about it now. Yeah. I've been saying on stage, by the way, it's been met with no laughter. Um, <laughs> but I've been saying, like, for me right now, it, it would be me, like, just saying about a guy, like, I want to ruin your life. Like, right. I want to control <laughs> you. I want to parade you around my friends and be like, look, I made this guy throw in the towel on fucking life. And uh, that's just what it seems to be. But it's also just that 
I haven't met that person that I'm like, I just want to make memories with you and be with you. But I, I do hope that I meet someone that that's how I feel. Yeah. And I think it's got to it's got to just happen. <clears throat> I mean, this sounds very cliche, uh, but it's got to happen organically. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, like you said, your, your, your career is going well. Right. Uh, you're you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The last thing I'd want to do is is uh, get married. Get me locked down. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, that's just not. <laughs> yeah. But then, but, but all the outside pressure, it gets, it gets to you. And then you go, oh, am I supposed to do this? And you're like, wait, no, that's not me. That's not what I want. That's yeah. just what the world and television and newspapers. And I was watching, um, what's it called? Oh, so it was just a documentary on PBS. Yeah. yeah. And it was, uh, and they were talking about just like what different women, uh, that have sort of changed the world and and they were and they just quickly commented on this Murphy Brown episode back in the day where she like had a baby like she was a yep. single mom and politicians were commenting on it she's this fictional character yep. and people were pissed like do what we're all doing we're all getting married and having kids don't what are you doing like even a a, a TV show and and I think it's still you know, it still freaks people out a little bit. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I mean, I used to, growing up. I used to watch Murphy Brown. I watched Designing Women. I watched <laughs> Golden Girls, and I and I and I think it, it. I mean, now that you bring it up, I think it, it shaped the way I you know think about women. And I, I mean, I was right. way too young to realize that that Murphy Brown in there, thing yeah. was a, contra- a controversial thing. Yeah. So I you know I grew up. I watched it. and I was like, yeah. So yeah, she's great. Have a she's baby. Having a baby. Have a life. Right. So, <laughs> well, that's good. So, all right. So you're good. Good. I'm, I'm good. Glad you're good. I'm good. You're good. You're single. You're happy. I have a date tonight. Do you really? Yeah. It's like, but I'm, not with this guy. What not, guy? Not with mini earth or not with earthquake. No. Yeah. We decided to end the road. Well, I decided that it was the end of the road for me and the Barker. Um, yeah. I, uh, this will be my first day i met a guy and like we just hit it off and it's it was very you know we weren't introduced we just kind of met in the world how now how does that happen for amy schumer at this point in the game i was sitting at lucky strike you know that bar in the restaurant in soho sure i was about to get highlights on my hair mm-hmm. which is like really traumatic for me because just being in a salon environment is just awful uh it's just intense and these power women and everyone's like and i was just like let me have a glass of wine and and he was also in there and uh and yeah and i'm just like kind of excited about it and i've i'm never excited about a guy now did, <laughs> does he did did he know this who is you like our first date i'm just like excited no I'm i, I mean I, I'm, I'm glad we're we're getting real uh yeah or this uh, this is real life yeah uh, now just did he know who you were or yeah but he but like he was like you're amy right like we were talking for a little bit but he's like in in production oh okay so he uh yeah but he wasn't like oh i loved you on blah blah you know <laughs> oh you're a fan let's have sex um yeah but that, i mean does, I, does but that I'm excited happen and i'm i mean not oh, that you have sex with your fans but i, don't I mean think i've ever had sex with a fan which seems like I sh- it's something you should at least try I, um yes uh, you know yeah you should but no, I mean, I get propositioned kind of like I get propositioned. Mm-hmm. I've never done it. I've never hooked up with somebody after a show that was like at the show. Right. Um, Every guy I know has. I, I was just going to say like <laughs> that is that is such a foreign concept to dudes. Like, I know. Like what now? They're like, like you this, don't this fuck happened. everyone who's willing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said yes, but that's the thing with a girl, that, and that's why I'm excited about this date tonight. Because usually, you know, I'll be like, "Oh, he's cute," and then he, you know, you don't talk to him, and you sort of project and make up who he is, and then you he opens his mouth, and you're just like, "Bye." It's just right. we have to also want to hear what they have to say. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, but you know, um, not that I haven't had sex with some just straight dummies that that were hot over the years, sure. but uh, you got to treat yourself. What, live your whole life you mm-hmm. know uh but this guy i just liked him and there were no red flags so well, that's good i'm excited well good mama's first night out <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's good i mean uh, that that's and so what are you guys doing what are you guys doing we're gonna get dinner mm-hmm. like adults i guess cool yeah but i also have this new weird added thing where yeah like people um 
where I'm not totally unknown. So it's like, right. Whatever comes with that. So I don't know. I, cause I have had that guys, guys are now showing up that I think they think I can help them in some way, ah. which is really weird. And it's weird to be like begging for the days where it was, he was just trying to fuck you. Like the worst case scenario <laughs> was that he was just trying to sex with you and then you weren't going to see him again. Right. And I was like, great. Right. You know, cause it was like, that's still good for your ego. Sure. <laughs> So, but now it's like, well, they're trying to have sex with you and maybe the day after they'll say, oh, hey, can you, can you, can you pass this yeah. along to somebody? Are you guys hiring a script supervisor? <laughs> 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 like, yeah, that's a great way to work, work with me. Is By the way. <laughs> that's the worst way to, to try and get a job with me. It's like having sex with me. I'm like, I'll never <laughs> want to see you again. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Uh, so, um, what what else what else is what else is going on? You know what I really What's liked about your your uh, I liked uh, you incorporating your sister into your uh, into the DVD. <laughs> she's my she's my best friend. She's on the behind Amy Schumer the web series. Oh, is she? Of the show. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. That'll be on uh, on tomorrow. Um, she and she's gonna come right for if we have a season two. But she's just my favorite human being. Yeah, and uh, she just trashes me. I mean, I'll still <laughs> I um she'll be like what are you doing and i'm like oh i'm just getting ready i have a show and she'll be like oh are you still pursuing that <laughs> <laughs> i'm like okay yeah she's the best she she's older or younger than you younger she's it, three and a half years younger she's a school psychologist okay Ooh. in the suburbs of chicago that's very yeah. cool yeah very interesting and so it's so it's you she's she's married she's married okay so it's the three of you or there's what do you mean there, how many siblings do you have? Oh, uh, yeah. I have an older brother and a younger sister. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Do you have siblings? That's a lot of Schumers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have a brother who's like 18 months older than me. He's Are you close? Yeah. Very. Yeah. It's nice. I feel, I feel bad for people that don't have a sibling. Yeah. It's, it's good. And uh, I mean, I guess we, we're best friends, but it's sort yeah. of out of, uh, I mean, I, I love him and he's great. But it's also out of laziness. Like I don't want to. I don't want to make friends. Uh, seriously, He's just everyone always there. has one thing that annoys you, <laughs> except for your. We just and it's just fun to talk shit about your parents. Like I'm just like, oh, listen to what mom did. She's like, oh, I go next. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's yeah. good. So, <sighs> it's also like. Um, because I'm making money now and I've things are going good. Um, some of my friendships are dissolving. Like they just kind of couldn't hack it. The friendships mm -hmm. on this path, on this path. Um, and you start and it changes people a little bit. Like people that I've known forever, they kind of start to look at you a little bit different. Not everyone, but mm -hmm. just some people. And these are makes people you, from like your hometown or, um, no, but people like I started stand up with okay. or, um, you know, it's like, it does, it's not necessarily jealousy but just things some people are just like i just kind of can't be friends with you anymore you can just feel it that they uh that, that you can't really trust them anymore or something and so it's good to have someone like your sister just somebody you trust yeah completely to to be around and anybody that i've talked to who's had a good amount of success just makes it sound like just keep your circle close to you and the people that you trust and love and and uh, that'll that'll serve you well. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, you have to start worrying about this. I know. Can you believe it? You're gonna be a big shot. Ew. <laughs> the, uh, tomorrow, starting tomorrow, there's gonna be posters of me on the subway. I'm. I I want to find some happiness about this stuff, but I feel totally awful about it. Do you really? Yeah, Come I on. Sw I swear, I don't think it's cool to feel awful about it. I would love to be like. Yeah, and tomorrow, oh my God, this is going to be up. But the thought of standing on the subway platform, like, and and other and strangers seeing it and and getting any more attention in life, like in your real life, mm -hmm. nothing appealing. Really? Don't you, don't you think that that would be awful? No. Why? Because I'm not on stage every night. Oh yeah, it's like that's the other thing with with girls want who want to get married. They also want to have their day where they're getting all their attention and people are putting makeup on them and taking right. pictures. And I have that day all the time. Right. So I don't have that like 
my day to be a celebrity. Right. And to those women who want that day, mm-hmm. I say just have a then have a party. Have a party and get glamour shots. Yeah. And don't, <laughs> don't move it. And be like, it's my day. Yeah. Why? What's happening? Everyone it's my fucking be, day. Yeah. That's what's happening. You could register at stores that actually have shit you want. Yeah. Instead of like crate and barrel. There should be a, a revolution. If there, if there already isn't in the works, women should just start, I don't know. They are. They're already like parties. communes. Just, Who's I just talking to that we want to live on a lesbian commune but not be lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. God, I only have like three friends. Oh, Rachel Feinstein. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's the funniest person in the whole... Have, did you see her uh, uh, Dumb Girls Are Hot? No. She has the most hilarious YouTube video, Dumb Girls Are Hot. I'll check it out. It, it like went viral. But uh, yeah, she's the shit. We yeah. were like, let's just... What are we doing? We like hanging out with girls. Let's just call <laughs> it a day. We'll go out with guys at night, but... Yeah. Girls all day. Yeah. Well, uh, listen, Amy, I'm, I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Um, this is, uh, this has been great. <laughs> Hasn't it been amazing? It's been amazing. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you letting me into your, into your home. I really trust you. I think you really do. You really do. And, and, and I appreciate it. This, I think this is the first podcast interview I did in somebody's home. Wow. I think that's true. Years ago, I interviewed Jim Norton in his apartment. Oh, the museum. Yes. The movie, Museum the, of Natural Pictures of him with, with, celebrities. with celebrities. Yes. <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah. He's so funny. I went over there and, like, the, the chick who was his girlfriend at the time was like, I just want to break all these pictures. <laughs> I was like, yeah, if he's my boyfriend, I'd be like, we're putting this in storage. <laughs> but he, but his presentation was nice. At no, least. it's to, it totally nice. At least it wasn't, it's you not, know, like, paper hanging on the wall no it's unassuming it's not overbearing but it is funny when you when you start looking <laughs> <laughs> the like shrine to ozzy yeah yeah uh well amy thanks thank you and congratulations on all your success thank you and uh i'm sure i'll see you soon yeah and there you have it amy schumer on the laugh spin podcast remember guys be sure to tune in to comedy central on april 30th for the premiere of Inside Amy Schumer. And don't forget to visit LaughSpin.com about 300 to 400,000 times a day. And um, what else do I want to tell you guys? Check us out on Twitter. We're very active on the Twitter at LaughSpin.com. We're on Tumblr. We're on the Facebook, of course. So make sure you uh, stay abreast of, uh, of the comedy world by visiting laughspin.com and all of our social media accounts. And if you have any questions for me or comments or suggestions or anything at all, nude photos, send me, get me, Dylan at laughspin.com, D Y L A N at laughspin.com. That's about it. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. See ya.